Flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flip, flippy flippy flop flop. Donald Trump, flippy flippy flop flop. Hey, listen, you know, in in the in the truth business, you have to call it like you see it. You have to call it like you see it. So Donald Trump is flipping on Syrian withdrawal. Remember, he said, "Our troops are coming home. Our troops are coming home from Syria." That was a big. Oh man, the tails wag. People's tails, all the Trump supporters, look how Trump is, his, his, oh, their tails are wagging. Look how Trump is pulling the troops out of Syria. Oh, all our boys and girls are coming home. You remember when he said it? If you, in case you forgot, let's hear him say it. We've been fighting for a long time in Syria. I've been president for almost two years, and we've really stepped it up. And we have won against ISIS. We've beaten them, and we've beaten them badly. We've taken back the land, and now it's time for our troops to come back home. I get very saddened when I have to write letters or call parents or wives or husbands of soldiers who have been killed fighting for our country. It's a great honor. We cherish them, but it's heartbreaking. There's no question about it. It's heartbreaking. Now we've won. It's time to come back. They're getting ready. You're going to see them soon. These are great American heroes. These are great heroes of the world because they fought for us, but they've killed ISIS, who hurts the world. And we're proud to have done it. And I'll tell you, they're up there looking down on us. And there is nobody happier or more proud of their families to put them in a position where they've done such good for so many people. So our boys, our young women, our men, they're all coming back, and they're coming back now. We won, and that's the way we want it, and that's the way they want it. So that was uh, the Donald on December 19, 2018. Right before Christmas, the boys and girls are coming home. Sounds nice, right? It's beautiful, right? Beautiful speech. All right, so a copy of a letter. Let's, let's look at what uh, Trump says he agrees 100% with keeping U.S. troops in Syria. <laughs> what? He reneged. He flip-flopped. Donald Trump, the flip-flopper. Washington, two months after declaring all U.S. troops are leaving Syria, President Trump wrote a uh, wrote to members of Congress that he agree he now agrees one hundred percent with keeping troop military presence in Syria. A bipartisan group of senators and representatives wrote to Trump on February 2nd applauding his decision to keep a small residual force in Syria. Well, small residual, that's not true. There's 1,500 troops in Syria. It's, it's, the number is small compared to, for example, what we have in uh, South Korea, 28,000 troops, right? But Syria is a bloody, bloody place, right? So he's, this, the troops are not coming home. We support a small American stabilizing force in Syria, the group wrote, adding that a force, uh, adding that a force which includes a small contingent of American troops and ground forces from European allies, is essential to ensure stability and prevent the return of ISIS. In a copy of the letter obtained by New York, uh, NBC News, Trump highlighted a paragraph in the letter about the U.S. goals in Syria, which said, Like you, we seek to ensure that all of the gains made in Syria are not lost, that ISIS never returns, that Iran is not emboldened, and that we consolidate our gains and ensure the best outcome in Geneva for American interests. Here's the letter, right? And here's Trump signing it. All right. Congress of the United States sent to Donald J. Trump, and here's the here's the paragraph right there. To it basically says to maintain a presence in Syria, a military presence in Syria. So he lied, All right? Uh, like okay, so I agree one hundred percent with <laughs> with the congressman, right? In the letter, and you just saw the letter. Since before he took office, Trump has promised to end the fight against the Islamic State, criti- criticizing the cost of the U.S. in both blood and treasure. Right? Right? Uh, uh, last month, what else? The Syrian Democratic Forces continue to battle in ISIS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just read that. A small P-51 
peacekeeping group of about 200 will remain in Syria for a period of time. That's uh, Huckabee Sanders said in a one-sentence statement. U.S. military officials have since confirmed the residual force could be double that and that some U.S. troops could stay in the northern part of the country and other parts of Syria. It's just a fucking lie. They lied to you. They lied to you. Remember when he said, ah, here's the tweet. Our boys and, and young women, our men, they're all coming back. And they're coming back now. We won. You remember the tweet? Here it is. So, so buffoon in chief, right? Am I being hard on Trump today? Well, hey, look, you know, there's, there's, there's now we're, we're approaching, uh, I suspect that Trump is, is, is now circling the drain in my, in my view. I think as, as people start to wake up again, right? The people that have been paying attention, you, I, and a couple other people (laughs) have been following this since the, the, uh, 2016, uh, debacle, right? The the stealing of the election away from Bernie Sanders. People like us have, that have been paying attention a long time are in in tune to the details. But now what happens is as the sleepy masses start to wake up, as 2020 approaches and people think, oh, you know, the election of the president, that means everything. And they fail to realize that that Senate and Congress and in you know, and 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 all the 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 stack the stacks and stacks of politicians in between are calling the shots, and that the president is in himself is impotent, is just a a mouthpiece that all he can really do is use the bully pulpit of the presidency to communicate to the people, and and to Trump's credit, Trump is a masterful orator to the people. It's just that his policies are ass backwards. His economic policies are stupid and serve the billionaires. Now, all right, in, in complete honesty, I've always known that. I, and I've gone, I've been, I've been willing to give the man a chance. But now, I mean, he's flipping, he flipped on that. He's flipping on everything. Everything, every single promise is now circling the toilet. Right? It's ready for the giant flush. So it's almost time for the Donald to step aside. Remember that? Remember that scene in in Pulp Fiction when when uh, when the when the the gangster comes in and he's standing behind Bruce Willis and he goes and he goes step aside, Butch. Remember that when he and he and he shot the he shot the homo that just fucked his ass. You remember that? It's Donald Trump, step aside, Butch. We got this. Marcus Conti reporting.